Hi there guys, welcome back to Anything Blows. My name's Andrew Dika and on today's video uh, I'm going to be giving you my reaction to last Saturday's fight in boxing for the IBF Super Featherweight World Title for the bout between Joe Cordina and Shafkat Rakimov. This is my double upload today. Hope you guys are enjoying the double uploads. Um, so let's get into it. And just before I go on to the main event, what a night it was from the first card, first fight on the card to main event for men's boxing and for women's boxing. You had Sky Nicholson with an outstanding performance and you had so many other tremendous athletes on the card. So heading into the main event, Joe Cordina, two-time world super featherweight IBF world champion. He's, he joins the list of few male fighters such as Tyson Fury to regain a title, win a title, become two-time champion without being dethroned and without losing his belt before. And he dethroned the current super IBF, su IBF super featherweight champion Shavkat Rak Rakimov in his hometown of Cardiff. Um, Joe Cordina won this fight via split decision, 116 to 111 to Rakimov, 115 to 112 to Cordina, and 114 to 113 to Cordina. From the very first round, both men came out all guns blazing, body shots, power shots, liver shots, dirty boxing, clinching. It was unreal, and this is a fight for the ages, a classic, potentially, and in my opinion, fight of the year, and one of the best fights we've seen so far this year, alongside with Anthony Yard and Arta Betabiev. Um... In the second round, um, Joe Cordina dropped um, Ra Rakimov with a left hook. And Rakimov is a former multiple weight world champion, which is crazy to say, and to dethrone him in his hometown. It was a typical orthodox versus south or conventional fight where Cordina was in the orthodox stance. Um, Rakimov was in a south force stance and he had his right hand, his jab hand lowered. And Cordina timed it perfectly with the left hook accurate. Uh, and 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 he knocked um Shavkat down. Round three, round four, round five. Um, Joe Cordina held the pace and was closing down the ring, moving around, and it was back and forth between both men. It was a lot of dirty boxing, especially from Rakimov. Rakimov, I would say, won rounds like four, five, six, seven, and coming up to the eighth round. But, but um. Yeah, Joe just showed his dominance and Joe showed why he deserved to be world champion and why he edged out the draw while the decision win. Because um, many people thought it could have been a draw. Many people thought it could have gone to Rakimov, especially at home, and especially one judge on the night. Um, I truly believe that Joe Cordina won this fight seven rounds to five, eight rounds to four. He won it convincingly in the sense that earlier rounds, he was clinical with a knockdown. But even in the later rounds, he got rocked. Both men got rocked on several occasions. And just ending the fight, like coming into the ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th round, Joe Cordina just showed the pace. He just showed who he was. He 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 put his stance. He's like, I ain't losing tonight. I'm not going to lose in my hometown. You're not taking this away from me. And it, it felt like a script. It felt like a movie. The hostile crowd in Cardiff, which could have got to Rakimov, but it felt like a football game. An unreal atmosphere because even watching on the telly, I felt like I was in the arena. And yeah, um, Joe Cordina just looks lethal. He knows what he's doing. He just looks more clinical, more sharper and a different Cordina, especially the last time we saw him out. And he had a point to prove to say, well, in, in actual fact, probably in his mind too, he's still the champion. Obviously, he's, he, he, he had to regain the belt. He had to re-win the belt. But he never lost the belt. So it's his belt. At the end of the day, um, he, he regained it. He dethroned the king or the, the current champion in Shafkat Rakimov. And he proved him wrong. Uh, Chris for Shafkat. Because Shafkat gave a good fight. And of course, it's hard going into away territory in card. To move that hostile crowd. But he played a little bit dirty boxing in the clinch. Um, and, and he hurt Cordina on several occasions. But he just couldn't get, get him out of there. And I just believe Joe had the better, better stamina. Better accuracy and more heart. And, and he just showed, I'm not getting beat tonight. This is my night. You're not taking this away from me. And credit to Shafkat because he's a former multiple weight world champion. But he'll come back. And hopefully this can lead to bigger fights for Joe. And 
probably other fights to unify the the division and it, let's see where Joe goes from here but I'm just happy to see him become two time because it was unlawful and it it was injustice for him to have vacated and been stripped of his title but he deserves it he done Carlish proud he done Wales proud he done boxing proud and that is the definition of a world title fight that's the fight we need that's the t sort of fights you need remind you of the uh, Conlon and Lee Wood fight from last year fight for the ages a classic instant classic that'll be remembered forever and as I said previously potentially fight of the year and 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 one fans won't forget for a while and it, it delivered to say the least thank you guys for tuning in to the channel today we much appreciate it if you could subscribe like leave a comment down below it below let me know what you thought about Joe Cordina versus Shafkat Rakimov, let me know how you scored it. I scored it, I'd say, at, at a max 8-4 to Cordina, although Shafkat had his moments. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you, hopefully you enjoyed the double upload, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.